Hello guys, hello, hello, hello. Greetings to you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or whatsoever time you might stumble on my video. It's she one and only girl, Barry Tokshiro, reporting live on the red from Japan, bringing you the letter G's, bringing you the letters info, bringing you what you want to hear at a particular time. So guys, in today's video, we will be talking about postpartum changes. Some of the ex some of the changes women experience few weeks after yeah. delivery. Yeah, that's what we will be talking about today. And if you are out there, you've subscribed on my YouTube channel, you've liked, you've shared, you've commented. Thank you so much. I'm so overwhelmed. Thank you for your push. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. And for those that haven't yet subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Why not join the Barry Talk Show family? Let's gain some knowledge. Let's let's share our experience. Let's help each other. Let's have fun and let's move on. And please don't always forget to comment, like, share. Put what you feel. Put your thinking in the comment section. Let's other experience your changes or what you believe in and don't always forget to turn on your notification button so whenever i upload a video you'll be the first person to get a notification and please guys always make sure you watch the video you might not want to watch till the end but watch till a certain part because if you don't watch and you just subscribe youtube will take down your subscription so it's always advisable please if you want to support support by also watching the video it might not help you but it might help somebody the knowledge you gain by watching it might help somebody around you who never watched the video thank you so as i earlier said in today's video we will be talking about postpartum change there are some changes women experience few weeks after delivery or after they have had their baby we all know it's not easy to move forward to that nine months from day one of your pregnancy to the day the deal date the day you are having your baby is difficult the journey is not an easy journey to bring forth another soul to carry another soul is not always an easy journey and pregnancy experience it differs from person to person from women we might be pregnant at the same time but our experiences will be different there are some people that pregnancy is good with them there are others if you see them during pregnancy it's like you never wish to be pregnant because of the way the pregnancy is dealing with them and still after delivery there are a lot of changes that women are having there are a lot of postpartum changes that women are always having which is not an easy journey so the the journey of carrying the baby right up to delivery is such a tough journey and the people around women the people around us should be supportive should be there to help us and be tolerant because after delivery there are a lot of changes in our body physical changes emotional changes psychological changes name it a lot of hormones hormonal changes in our body that women experience so in today's video we'll be talking about some of the changes that Women will be women are experiencing will likely experience after childbearing. The first one is increase in breast size. When you have delivered at that very moment, you see like your breasts have increased in size. Yeah, maybe before you you became pregnant, your breasts were normal, but during that pregnancy period, your breasts will start increasing gradually, gradually, and immediately after delivery, it's like your the breast sizes have doubled. You see, because there is too much milk in it that you are supposed to give your child, so your breast size will increase. You might be wondering what is happening, but that is how it is. That is nature for us as women after delivery or during pregnancy. Another postpartum change that women experience is a lot of eating. They eat a lot. And I think this particular aspect is very normal and is good because during pregnancy, a lot of women don't eat. And if they even try to eat, they will throw up. Pregnancy is not an easy journey, as I said. Some people will start vomiting from day one right up to the last day that they will have their baby. So after that delivery or that postpartum period, if you have, if you have your appetite to eat, my mother, my dear, my sister, please eat. Don't complain to them that they eat a lot because you don't know what they have passed through or what 
happened with them, all the difficulties that they were passing through during their pregnancy period. So we, a lot of women eat during the postpartum period a lot and let them eat for it is not easy. And another change again that women might likely to experience during the postpartum period or after delivery is sleeping a lot. A lot of women sleep a lot and it is good in the sense that if you have somebody to help you during this period, you need rest. You have to rest for the journey wasn't an easy journey. Nine months carrying another soul, carrying another person, bringing another thought, another human into the earth is not an easy journey. There are moments that you cannot even sleep. You really feel sleepy, but maybe the baby won't allow you to sleep. The position, you don't even know how to position yourself. Maybe sleep is not coming. You are heavy. You are weak. You just feel like the world is on you. So after delivery, if you have the time to sleep, sleep. If you have someone to help you with the baby, be your mother-in-law, your mother, your husband, any person around you, sleep. So a lot of women sleep during this period a lot. And another change again that a lot of women experience is bleeding cramps. Yes, this one uh, I'm telling you is not easy. You know, after delivery, we, 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 as women, we bleed. Blood is coming out from your body and it might take one week, it might take two weeks. It depends on individual. People are different. And a lot of people witness this cramp that it paints a lot. Blood come out from your body with lungs. It's like with clot, clotted blood. At times the blood is so black, it's so thick and it pains before the blood will come out from your body it's like you are still in labor pain it is not an easy journey yeah it is very normal a lot of women you might be feeling this particular experience you are not the only one into it before you talk to one or two women you will see another person that is also passing through this experience after delivery and one more is stretch mark yeah maybe when you were still young when you were you never had a baby your body was clean your body was normal you were glowing you were like a son but maybe during that pregnancy period you start experiencing some stretch marks or after delivery during that postpartum period you experience a change in your body maybe under your breast you see stretch marks under your laps your back your hands name it your belly you see stretch mark is normal a lot of women pass through it and that's the joy of motherhood it shouldn't be a problem if you are not comfortable in it why not look for something to clear out the stretch mark and believe me nobody should be comfortable in the stretch mark if you have the way if you have the means of clearing that stretch mark and coming back to your normal self make sure you do it in one way or the other you're not the only person passing through this stretch mark after delivery a lot of women are passing through it and i know that change again that women pass through after delivery is swollen legs yeah i for one am um, this usually happens to me a lot. Maybe during the last trimester of my pregnancy, I'll be having um, swollen legs. And after delivery again, I'll still be having swollen legs. So it's very normal. Yeah, you might see somebody, you see somebody's leg very fat. If you even put, touch it, it's like your hand will enter inside. It will form a hole into the person's leg. And there is one more thing I would advise a lot of women. The, and there is one more thing I would advise a lot of women. The one month checkup that a doctor usually gives is very important. Very, very important. We should make sure we always attend our one month checkup. You might leave the hospital, you go back home, you think you are feeling okay, think you are strong. You can go back on your normal duty. You must, you, you can start your normal work, your normal duty, your normal activities. But you don't know if you are healed in there. You don't know what is happening there. Maybe in the short run, you might not be feeling pain, you might be feeling strong, but in the long run, you don't know what will happen. So it's always good to go back to the hospital for your one month checkup. So the doctor to examine you very well maybe they, they can even do an echography and x-ray anything that is necessary on your body for them to confirm very well that you are healed and you can now start a normal activity and another postpartum change again is increase in weight or waist gain a uh, weight gain immediately you give birth you you lose weight you lose about maybe six kilos yes it's very normal 
is very immediately you'll give birth at that particular moment you won't be the same way you came to the hospital but after one week after two weeks after three weeks a lot of women will start gaining weight you will see a girl when she was pregnant or when she wasn't pregnant she will be she was skinny she was tiny but after she have had a baby maybe one or two babies you will see her start increasing in size she will become fat maybe she might try to fight at times you cannot even fight when the fat start coming yes it's difficult to even fight it <clears throat> at times it's even difficult to fight it yeah but all we have to do is to we watch what we eat a lot of exercise is it helps a lot and there is one more thing again that women usually experience during this postpartum period is lack of sexual appetite lack of sexual drive a lot of women during this period they don't have the appetite for sex they don't have the sexual appetite to even meet their partner again for sex it's like and i think it's very normal yeah because after this delivery your body has changed a lot things are no longer normal and as a man you just have to be gentle with your wife or with your partner you just have to understand that no yeah maybe there are some body changes psychological changes emotional change that you just have to be gentle and along the line you talk things out with her and you see things will come back to normal so a lot of women after delivery they don't longer have the appetite for sex they don't longer feel like meeting their partner meeting their husband again for sex it's like when they even want to touch and they will feel irritated it's very normal those are some of the postpartum changes go, go to the parlor go 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 go, go, my kid. go to the parlor Pass. And another change again is toothache. A lot of women during pregnancy or after delivery, during this postpartum period, they usually have toothache. It's like their gum usually, it pains them a lot. And at this point, it's very um, important and very necessary for you to visit your doctor. Yeah. It doesn't happen just to you alone. You might think that you are the only one feeling this pain. A lot of women out there, after delivery, they usually have toothache and even eye problem. A lot of women cannot see very well. They will be seen from a distance like that. It is, it is like blur. It's very normal. Some of these changes, some of these postpartum changes are very normal. They are very rare. It happens to a lot of women. So all we just have to do as women is to take care of ourselves. If we start experiencing some of these postpartum changes, some of these changes after delivery, especially six weeks after delivery, we just have to visit our doctor and they will tell us what to do because they know best than us. Don't sit home and people should be telling you this is what you are supposed to do. No. It's better for you to visit your doctor. And there is one more change again. That usually happens to women six weeks after delivery, which is face transformation. You see a lot of women, it might not happen to everybody, but to some women. You will see a lot of women, their face will start having some ratchets. They are not to be too fat. They will have pimples. They, they will just have a funny look. It happens to a lot of women. Yeah, that is the, that is the joy of motherhood. That is a joy of bringing forth a soul to bring. That is a joy of bringing forth another human into the world. Yeah. You see somebody's face. You cannot recognize a person. You yourself, you look at yourself in the mirror. It's like you look so funny. You will not understand yourself. These are some postpartum changes we experience as women and again i've noticed one more thing a lot of women during this period that they just had their baby they are so emotional it's like anything you tell them they start crying they don't want to be hurt a little one normal word that you tell somebody a person will just feel like the world is on her and she will start crying yeah some of we, some of the women some uh, some women during this postpartum period they are so emotional it's like they are so soft they are like babies whatsoever thing you tell them you see tears will start running out from their eyes and as a man as any person around them all you have to do is to take care of them pet them make them happy let them feel like the world every it's like let them feel happy let them feel good let them feel that consent let them feel that touch so if you have been watching this video right up to this moment and you have gained knowledge please put it in mind that you are supposed to subscribe subscribe to the channel so we will be getting amazing content amazing knowledge that will help us today or in one way or the other might help somebody around you and don't forget to like 
comment and share and please make sure you turn on your